Did you know that the songs I Feel Good by James Brown, Black or White by Michael Jackson, and Boogie Shoes by Casey and the Sunshine Band were all tunes that were written over the blues progression? What's up everybody? My name is Scott Paddock and today we're going to talk all about the blues. <laughs> There are three different ways to describe the blues. They are all a little bit different, but of course they have a lot in common because they are described by using the term the blues. The first way we're gonna describe the blues is by genre. So when it comes to the blues genre, that's obviously the musicians that make up that specific style of music. So we're talking about musicians like B.B. King, Albert Collins, Stevie Ray Vaughan, T-Bone Walker, the guys who make up the blues genre and play blues music. So if you're talking about a musician like Muddy Waters, you're talking about a blues musician who is playing blues music in the blues genre. Now that makes perfect sense, but when it comes to the term the blues, that's not usually the first thing that people who are describing it are thinking about. When people are describing the blues, they're actually talking about the way something sounds. So it doesn't necessarily mean the genre. It means that the musician who played or sang whatever they just played or sang sounds bluesy. So that just means it sounds soulful, gritty, a little dirty. It just has a bluesy sound to it, which you've heard all of the time. So this is a perfect example of something that sounds bluesy. But of course, the description of the blues can also mean slow and soft and sexy. So when it comes to the description of the blues, that just means you're playing something soulful. It can be kind of growly and dirty and in your face, or it can be soft and sexy and soulful. But the main idea behind the description of the blues is that it has a lot of soul in it. Now, when it comes to saxophone players and improvisers, when we talk about the blues, we're usually talking about the blues progression. And the blues progression is a 12 bar progression that is made up of the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. That is your most basic blues progression, but there are all different kinds of varieties of the blues progression. And the chord outline for that on the saxophone would sound like this. Now the thing about thinking about the blues as a blues progression is that it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna sound bluesy. So as saxophone players and improvisers, uh, we're usually gonna start off with some blues progression tunes like Blue Monk. But we also have blues progression songs like Tenor Madness that don't necessarily sound bluesy when you play them. Even though that song has a lot of eighth notes and it doesn't necessarily sound bluesy, we would still describe it as a blues because it is a song that is written over the blues progression. Now there are a lot of popular songs that are outside of the blues or jazz genre that use the blues progression as the foundation for their song. Some that do sound a little bit more traditional like Hound Dog by Elvis Presley or Good Golly Miss Molly by Little Richard or Give Me One Reason to Stay Here by Tracy Chapman. Those are all blues songs, and if you know the blues progression, it's really easy to hear that those songs are using the blues progression. If you're a saxophone player and you'd like to learn more about the blues progression or chord progressions or just the saxophone in general, I'd like to invite you to check out the Scott Paddock Sax School, where I'll take the guesswork out of what to practice, how to practice it, and what to practice next. I'll put a link to the website in the video description below. There are other songs that still use a pretty traditional blues progression, but they hide that it's a blues through their instrumentation. Those are tunes like I Got You by James Brown, 
Black or White by Michael Jackson, and Boogie Shoes by Casey and the Sunshine Band. And then there are some popular songs that took the traditional blues progression and they altered it a bit so it's still a blues progression but it's just a little bit different. And songs like that are Kiss by Prince and I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For by U2. So when we're talking about the blues as a progression, we're not necessarily talking about the blues genre at all. Of course, that's where everything originated. It came from the blues, but these more modern genres took that progression, that chord progression, and turned it into their new modern sound with their new modern music, playing the old traditional blues chords. As a musician and improviser who plays over chord changes, you're gonna to have to be able to decipher what people are talking about when they say the blues. So if you're playing in a band and they say it's over the blues, of course they're talking about the, the blues chord progression. If you're talking to an audience member or someone who's describing the way something sounds, they're talking about it sounding bluesy. And of course, when you're talking about the genre of blues, you're talking about actual blues musicians playing an actual style of music. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you now understand a little bit more about the blues, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to dive deeper into my saxophone world, I'd like to invite you to check out the Scott Paddock Sax School. Thank you.